Can everybody hear me all right? It's, it sounds nice and clear, guys. <coughs> sound okay? Good stuff. Okay. Okay, so hopefully most of you guys can hear me. Hi, uh, Ghalib, Mohammed, and a few other people. Okay, this, obviously I'm not normally on mic on a Friday. I just want to do a... I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday about the psychology of trading and I, I know something which we don't focus that much on because we just so we try to let people get on with it as much as they can. I do know I, we do do a section on it when I when we do any training, any physical training, we do a section on the psychology of trading. But always on a day to day basis, we just focus on trade. But I think the psychology of trading is very very important. In fact, probably more important than the system itself. So I, I just want to do about a fifteen twenty minute chat on it. Um, really just just giving people some suggestions and some ideas really of what what I think is what is how to look at the market how to view the market I have I often do talk about it when I'm on my own mic session but I just want to do a proper 20 minute segment on it purely focus on this not focus on trade because um, I think trading and even though I wouldn't call it gambling because otherwise I wouldn't be doing but trading is has got a lot of similarities to gambling and I often use analogy and I look at a casino and I'm obviously a lot of people, some people go to casinos and, and so on and so on. Most, there are very few casinos that actually go out, of, that go out of business. The vast majority of casinos make a huge amount of profit, a huge amount of profit and a huge amount of money. Very few casinos actually go out of, go out, go out, go out of business and go into loss. Now, you would imagine that obviously, um, why does that happen? Why does that business always make money? And the reality why that happens is, is purely because the casino owners on every single activity in the casino being be it blackjack roulette um, poker whatever else whatever the slots whatever machine they use they are a bit you know very very small little edge it gives the casino owners a defined edge in the in what happens now what do you do how do you define an edge an edge is basically is, is just a probability of something happening more often than not. So a 55% edge, for example, means that something's going to happen 55% of the time and it's not going to happen 45% of the time. So for a casino to make money, every single game it offers its clients has to have an edge. If they have that edge, they will make the money. But they will not, they will not achieve that edge and they will not achieve um, the desired results from that edge unless they have enough people playing the game. So if for example only one person was to come and play blackjack, it could be very well that he could be a very good player and he would lose and he would make his money and he would walk away with a profit. Now if, if just one person when isolation was doing this, then obviously uh, the casino is going to lose money. However the casino they know that over a series of games being played, be it blackjack or let, let's for example let blackjack. Let's say let's have an example the casino has a sixty percent edge on blackjack. And that's what the margin is. That means 60% of the time the casino will make money on that based on the parameters of blackjack. Now that means if 100 people come and play blackjack on the casino table, 60 people will, sorry, 40, 60, 60 times the, the casino will make money, 40 times the player will make money. That gives the casino 20%, 20, 20 point profit. We'll call it whatever you want to. This is the casino's edge. And this is imperative when it comes to trading. I'm, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you probably have seen the movie, um, I think it's uh, which had um, Robert De Niro, I think, in it. Was it Robert De Niro? No, it wasn't. It was uh, Al Pacino, I believe, wasn't it? Anyway, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, as a matter of fact. And they talked about that and obviously how they tried to trick the casino and how they tried to take away the, yeah, but the, the casino owner was actually Al Pacino, I believe, or was Robert De Niro. But anyway, what they talked about, they talked about the casino having this edge. And also, yeah, and twenty and Kevin Spacing twenty one is also had this edge, and they had this very special machine to make sure that the edge was not broken. The moment the edge was broken, they would kick the guy out of the room. So there is a very big similarity between trading and casino, not because it's gambling, because I don't think it's gambling in the purest sense of the word, but because you are trading based on an edge. And what is an edge? An edge is nothing more than a high probability of something happening compared to another thing. And it's imperative in trading you realize that. A lot of people do not realize that. There are some 
fundamental um, mistakes which may people make. And I'll be honest with you, when I first started trading, I I was convinced that I was the market, basically, and I controlled the market, and I was convinced that I can control the market, and I whatever I do will happen. We all have this overinflated ego, some of us more than others, and when I first started trading, I was convinced, yeah, I know what I'm doing, my setups are correct, I know this is going to work out in my favor. The, the, that way, I say, I know that my next trade is going to work in my favor. If I believe that and I follow that, then I will never make money in trading. You can never ever know if your next trade is going to be a winner or not. It's just not possible. Nobody can guarantee with any certainty the next trade can be a winner. And the reason why we can't guarantee it because every moment and every moment in the market is unique, and there are huge players out there which can affect the market. So I, you can have a position long on the euro dollar, and all it takes is one of the bigger banks um, to go against you, and your trade will fail. For you, for for let I I I'm, I refer I'm referring a lot to um, trading in the zone uh, with obviously Michael Douglas on that, and I, I know few people are reading it already. So there will be some references to get obviously, and but I do think that's very important to have these references. I mean, it's very simply for 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 you to think that let's say you take a trade right now and it works. That that trade worked because at that time at that time certain people were in the market and those certain people believe that that trade will go up. For example, let's say I want to go euro dollar right now at 27, for example, which is the market right now. If I want to go long and it, I make 10, 15 points on it, now why did I, why did that happen? It happened because obviously the pattern is there, enough people are watching the pattern and at that given moment, everybody who was in the market went up. The, in, there were enough of the people on that side of the market. However, if the same setup recreate happens tomorrow afternoon, it could still it could be exactly the same setup and it has to be. However, it could very well be that the same people are not in the market and some other people actually have an opposite view to you. So what I'm going to say to you is for you to know what's going to happen every to know what's going to happen next time if the same thing happen, same thing happens this time, the same people have to be in the market and the market cannot the same people to be sitting in the market at the same time having the same view. It may happen this time, but the next time it won't happen. And if it doesn't happen, even a small deviation, even a 1% deviation from that could mean that the trade will not produce the same results. So therefore, it's very, very important to realize this, that when we are trading, we are trading nothing more than an edge. And it's, it's I keep on, it, it's imperative. And now, what, what we need, what I think, and they are excellent setup. For example, extend reversal. I mean, I, I, for example, I mean, I actually get a little bit frustrated when people don't take them because I'm, I scream at people, there's a 93% strike rate, 92% strike rate, and people sometimes don't take them. Fine, it's not, my, it's not, that's not an issue as far as I'm concerned, but we have certain setups. For example, extend reversal, which give us less than 90% strike rate, and there are people in the room, for example, Mohammed, I think he gets 92%, so it's not just me saying it. Let's say we have certain setups, like an extend reversal, which gives it is very simplistically this. And people, but people don't do this. People are lazy inherently, unfortunately. I'll be honest with you. It's people need to define what is an extended reversal for them. So they need to have their rules of how what the what the setup is going to be. So what the how the setup is, where the entry will be, what the parameters of the trade are. You need to define that edge. And once you've done that, then obviously every single time you take the trade, then you sh every time the trade comes along, you have to take it. No matter what happens, no matter what you are, you have to try to take out the emotion of the trade, and just try to take every single trade. A lot of people ask me, how do you, how would, how would I personally start trading? Listen to what I'm doing right now as a trader. But if I, if you, if what would, what would I do if I came in fresh into this business, or I came fresh into our room? And this is what I suggest people should do. And I think if you do this correctly, and the psychology is correct, you can make money out of it. Firstly, get the setups sorted out. So choose a setup you like, be it extended reversals, reversals, orange to whites, um, bounce trades, trending up. You write them down on a piece of paper or, or a piece of card. What you then do is then you define your setups very, very correctly and precisely trying, if at all possible, to take out any outside factors. 
So take away any gut feelings out of it and work it purely. Give me one second.